I've always liked Minecraft, but the combat has always been very disappointing to me. If you watch this channel, you know that I love having minions to fight for me, but in Minecraft you have to do all the fighting yourself. The only minions you can make are snowmen that throw snowballs. These snowballs deal no damage though. I've always wished that there was a way that the snowman minions could deal damage. Luckily, I found a mod that allows this. It's called Enhanced Snowman, and it allows the snowman minions to damage enemies. The mod offers a configuration file that lets you tweak some cool things. The Convert Boolean property allows snowmen to make more snowmen from the creatures they kill. This is really fun and a useful feature because the snowmen are not very resilient. The only hostile boolean property toggles whether snowmen should only deal damage to hostile creatures. It's probably best to leave this one turned on unless you want to get friendly fire. The players deal damage boolean toggles whether the players deal damage when they throw snowballs or not. The snowless boolean makes snowballs snow slow the creatures that get hit by them, which is useful to increase the time enemies need to get close to your snowmen. Finally, the snowball damage double allows you to specify the exact amount of damage a snowball should deal. This can be any value between 0 and 100. It's a very simple mod that changes how Minecraft feels as a game. It lets you have pretty good minions, and a lot of them. Unfortunately, the snowmen's other problems remain. Firstly, that they're quite weak. They cannot withstand much damage, but they are also very expendable, so it's not so bad. Secondly, the snowmen do not follow you, so you have to build them wherever you want them to be. They'll roam around everywhere, exploring every nook and cranny, so they're good for clearing enemies out of areas, but they're not something you can take with you exploring. They're good for guarding your base or clearing enemies out of caves. To make a snowman, all you need is two snow blocks and a jack-o'-lantern. You can then use a cutting tool like shears on the head of the snowman to get the jack-o'-lantern back so you can keep reusing the same jack-o'-lantern to make as many snowmen as you need to, until you run out of snow. If you're wondering what the magic mod I'm using is called, it's called Ars Nouveau. I hope I pronounced that correctly. It's French or something. It lets you create spells which can then be used to do all kinds of things, like damaging enemies or digging through tiles or flying. There's a lot of things you can do. It also lets you make all kinds of magical equipment. It's a cool mod, and I definitely recommend it, but unfortunately it's only good for vanilla kind of boring magic. There's no dark magic or summoning, except for some timed cherubs. The cherubs are decently strong, but their aggro range is very short, so you have to be kissing the enemy before they attack, which often gets you hurt in the process. They follow you around, but due to the timer they expire pretty quickly. It's a cool mod, but I think the recipes and requirements can be a bit too much effort, and you should really just cheat yourself in a beginner spellbook and then go from there. I also tried out a mod called Occultism because it seemed to offer darker kinds of magic. Unfortunately this mod is worse than useless for me. The creatures it lets you summon are supposed to be killed, so there's no minimancy fun to be had here. It's also so insanely convoluted. If you really want to painstakingly roleplay dark magic rituals, or just want to decorate your base with spooky stuff, then maybe it's useful to you. But personally, like, I hate it. T to each their own, you may like it, that's great. I don't. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry that videos are a bit infrequent right now. I'm honestly feeling really shitty lately, and getting stuff done is a colossal effort. And that's unlikely to change anytime soon but I'll continue to crank out content whenever I'm able. I hope this video has helped you find some way to make Minecraft more enjoyable for your playstyle.